In this activity, we're going to go ahead and create two questions. But we're not going to create the questions in the quiz directly. We're going to create them in something called the question library, which is a central repository that stores and archives questions which you can reuse within a course. You can create multiple collections within a question library to organize your questions by type and topic, making it easier for you to find your questions uh, for your quizzes, surveys, and self-assessments. This hands-on activity requires you to create two question types. To learn about all the other question types, you want to review the written tutorials on all the other question types. We're going to go ahead and create a true and false and also a multiple choice question. So to begin with, we have to get to the quiz. To get to the quiz, we click on the Submission Review tab on the nav bar and click Quizzes. We're going to click on Question Library. We're going to click New and choose Section. A section is like a folder. It's a way to organize all of your questions so they're not all just sitting out there at the root. I'll call this Chapter 10 Questions. And then I'll click Save. Now to add questions, to this particular section name, we will click on the name of the section. So the first question type we're going to choose is true and false. So I'm going to click new and choose true and false. If you want to enter a title, that's optional, but I wouldn't do that at all. You choose the number of points you want, we'll just leave it at one, and select the difficulty if you so desire. The question text is what we're going to type in here. If you want then, you can select enumeration. I'll leave it alone. And then you're going to enter your true enter your text which we did. You're going to enter your the style that you want whether it's vertical, horizontal or drop down. The next thing you want to do is you have to choose the weight for each true and false option in the weight text box. Note, enter 100% for the correct answer and 0 for the incorrect. So the question is, my name is Alan, well that's true, so I'm going to put 100%, meaning the student will get 100% for that if they um, get that question correct. You then can click Save and return to the main menu. Click Save and Copy to save and, and create another uh, true and false question that retains the copied properties, or Save a new to create a new true and false question. <clears throat> we'll just go ahead and click Save. So now we're going to go ahead and create another question, and in this case, we're going to choose New and choose Multiple Choice. Again, you have the same kind of fields. You enter the points, the difficulty, and now the question text. So I enter the question text, and then I can select the enumeration if I want and style. Now there is another choice here that is to randomize options. This will ensure that each person receives the same multiple choice options in an unpredictable order. Now what I want to do is enter an answer option in the value field. So here's the value field. Remember what my question is. What day comes after Sunday? So I'm going to choose Now, I'm only going to choose three choices. By default, you're giving four choices. So to get rid of the fourth choice, which you have to do because they're required to have some text in there if once you save it, is you click on the little trash can icon to remove it. That will remove that question. If you want, you can always add more options. If you need more than four or if you need more than three, you type in the number of options and you click the Add Options. So now what I want to do is set the weight for each one of these fields. Again, the same thing. 100% is given for the correct answer and 0 is for the incorrect. If you want to give any partial credit for any incorrect answer, that's your choice. I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And again, click Save and Return to the main menu. 
Click Save and Copy to save and create another multiple choice question that retains the copied properties. Or click Save and New to continue creating a new multiple choice question. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And we now have created our two question types in the question library.